Hello Pisces Power People, welcome back to Pisces Power Tarot, a channel created by Pisces for Pisces of all placements as well as cross watchers who care about a Pisces in their lives. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited that you are in this space. It is high vibe and it is safe. So I'm grateful to have you here. Now, I'm trying so hard to grow my channel to 500. And if you could help me with that, I would greatly appreciate that. I give a lot of value here. Um, so if you'd be willing to subscribe, if you haven't already, it's absolutely free for you to do so. Click subscribe and then that um, notification bell so you can get all the juicy Pisces Power Tarot readings and uh, stay up to date with what's going on in this community, okay? All right, I'm going to go ahead and do a story time reading. I know that many of you really like those. I feel like I do a pretty good job at offering um, unique styles, unique reading styles, and I like to keep things different, keep things, you know, give you all variety. Um, so I'm super grateful for the feedback that I have been receiving about the story time readings because they are so much fun. If you're not familiar with the story time readings, they are fast paced and you never know at what point the story will end, okay? I don't even know that. What I do is, is I intuitively read from four decks, right? And I'm turning the cards like leaves of a book. And then spirit or the archangels will let me know when the story is ready to end or that it's ending. And at that point, we just close down and then you take the reading with you into your personal life, right? Um, so just to make sure you're aware that this is a fun, fast-paced reading style, okay? And if you would like a personal reading, I will do a personal story time reading for you. You can reach out to me at PiscesPowerReadings at gmail.com. I offer very reasonable rates for my readings. Okay, now I'm going to go ahead and welcome in the angels and the archangels who help me with this channel. Archangels, I request that you infuse your presences, your energies into this reading, into each of the readings that my viewers might benefit from your wisdom, your presence, your comfort. I'm always grateful for the presence of the angels. I truly do not know what I would do without them. Now, I do shuffle these off screen, but I like to shuffle on screen a little bit too, just so that way you all will have the um, comfort of knowing that these are well shuffled cards. Okay? Give these a shuffle. I'm gonna give them a cut and a shuffle. Now, I would love to know where you're watching from and how you're doing. Um, that's how we connect here. We love on each other. We support each other. So let me hear from you. How are you? Where are you? All right. Here we go. Are you ready? <laughs> because it is story time. We start off with cornucopia number 11. Now, maybe some of you have a life path of number 11. Now, Whenever you watch this reading, it is a timeless reading, okay? It will find you at the right time. However, at the time of this reading that I'm doing it, it is um, October 21st, 2023. We're heading into fall. Uh, we are in fall and we're heading towards um, the holidays. And cornucopia is definitely symbolic of some of the autumn and winter holidays that we have here in the United States. So you could take this card as a confirmation uh, and that this reading is for you. Also, I want to say this card 
signifies um, upcoming abundance. Upcoming abundance. Get ready to have an abundant mindset. Five of cups is what's next. I will move forward when the time is right. Maybe some of you are feeling stuck and halting. I'm detecting a halting energy. It's almost like you know that abundant energy is ahead, but because of self-sabotage, you're not willing to really get the lead out and move forward. But Spirit is saying with this Queen of Cups that if you will work on your emotions, work on your self-worth, really do a deep dive so that you can understand that you are more than worthy to deserve and receive the abundance that is in store for you, you will experience a better quality of life, okay? Am I right or am I right? This is what it's all about, and you absolutely deserve that. Next, we have Wizard of Awareness. Maybe some of you aren't even aware just how much you deserve, okay? And some of us aren't. Um, some of us, the thing about self-sabotage and even self-hatred, it can be very subtle and very sneaky, okay? It doesn't necessarily come in the form of something obtuse and easily recognizable, okay? But Spirit is saying you're going to be brought into a time where you become more self-aware. And as you become more self-aware, you're going to begin to better understand just how much you're worth and just how much you really do deserve the abundant life. Next, you can't make this up, door to value. Once this happens, a door to value is going to open. You're going to move through it and you're going to experience the abundance, the cornucopia, if you will. King of Wands, I am successful in all you do. Some of you have success blocks is what um, Spirit is showing me. When you move through this door to value and you start to receive the money, the good health, the great relationship, the manifestations that you've always longed to have, you're going to begin to even from that place get a clearer picture of who you are in the spirit, of who you are as far as your purpose and your role for being on this planet at this time. You're going to be finding yourself in a very fiery, passionate energy filled with a confidence that you've never had before. Three of Wands. Once that happens, you're going to get a taste for exploration. Once you experience that confidence, you're you're probably going to want to travel a little bit more because you're going to feel like you can do this on your own. Um, perhaps you are a feminine energy and you're looking or longing for solo travel. Once you come into this King of Wands confidence because of all the good things that's going to be happening to you, for you, through you, you're going to be ready to set your sights on broader horizons and do these things by yourself, for yourself, with yourself. This is your encouragement, card 54. This is your encouragement. This is your affirmation. I'm also sensing that there are um, deceased loved ones. There are spirit guides and ancestors um, that are reaching out to you basically saying, yes, listen to this message. This is true. We're encouraging you. Perhaps the giraffe is your spirit animal or was the spirit animal of your um, passed on loved one. Just know this is them giving you a nurturing nudge to move forward and realize who you are, what you are, and why you are here. Next, we have man holding a heart. What I'm picking up on right now is a masculine energy with a guarded heart. Um, perhaps you are guarding your heart because you've been through a lot relationship-wise, and that is what has obscured you and held you back 
from seeing your worth, from seeing your value, who you really are. And because of that, it has put blocks in the flow of your success in other areas of life. Page of Pentacles. I am open to opportunities for personal growth. But here's the deal. This page of Pentacles, the page of practicality, the page of resource is encouraging you, if you are a divine masculine with a guarded heart, to tap into your root and your sacral chakra, tap into your solar plexus chakra, do some inner work on yourself, because when you do that, it's going to throw wide open the door to success and a path back to the person that you know yourself to be. An ability to see just how great you really are. And then we have the Ace of Swords, a new beginning in the area of the mind. Swords are air energy. So a lot of this, if you'll notice, as we started the reading, we're talking about um, people who are self-sabotaging, who won't allow abundance in, uh, people with a guarded heart, okay? There is about to come just a brilliant stroke of clarity, okay? You're going to have a new beginning in the area of mindset, and it is absolutely going to change your life. Card 32, Magic Prayer. It's going to seem like all your prayers are being answered at once. The Thinking Woman Okay, perhaps you're a very analytical person and that's what's holding you back. Perhaps you are so logical um, that you are logicking yourself out of mir miracles, out of magic. Um, you are in your mind so much that you're blocking yourself, which is so funny, right? Because we just had this breakthrough in the area of the mind. Just know that that applies for you, even if you think you can figure it all out. Even if you think to yourself, actually, what I'm about to say, I feel is very important. If this resonates with you, I want you to hit the like button. Because what I'm about to say, I think is going to resonate with a lot of you. Perhaps you are someone who... Disaster plans, maybe you come from a family of engineers, and maybe you're just so analytical that the way you have got things in your mind, you are absolutely certain that there is no way things can get better for you financially, no way things can get better for you relationally, and no way things can get better for you healthily health-wise, okay? Because in your mind, you think you have it all figured out. You are the thinking woman. Um, so kudos to you for your intellect, but just don't let your intellect be the be-all, end-all of you, okay? You are not necessarily your greatest resource when you have an entire realm of angels, archangels, spirit guides, um, ancestors, loved ones who have passed on, who root for you, who behold you regularly and try to make things happen for you. Okay, so hold on to that. Next, we have happy family. What did I just say? You have family. You have deceased loved ones. You have um, all these spirit guides. They want you to be happy. You know why? Because they're happy. Maybe they weren't happy before they left this earth, but they're here to say they're happy now and that you don't have to get so in your head that you make yourself miserable, okay? They want you to get out of your head, into your heart, acknowledge that they're happy so that you can be happy too. Queen of Swords, I protect what matters to me. This is a message from your ancestors. This is a message from your loved ones who have passed on to the other side, they want you to know that they stand at the ready. They stand guard. When you are weak, they are strong, and you are allowed to be vulnerable 
because they are protecting you. They are watching over you fiercely. Next, we have the fool. I'm here. This is this again. I'm feeling a travel energy here. Um, perhaps it's time for some of you to take that journey that you've been thinking about, but you've been too afraid to do. Spirit wants you to know now that you're kind of getting a peek into what's on the other side of who all is protecting you, who all is supporting you. Allow that to be the courage that you need to take that first step forward. Be wide open. Look at this. Is this not just like the full card? You couldn't make this up if you tried. Be wide open. She's wearing green, which corresponds with the heart chakra green. Be wide open. Um, have your heart wide open, your mind, your imagination wide open, because a journey, a beautiful journey, can ensue if you do so. Next, we have the thinking man. What is up with all of these intellectuals here? <laughs> so perhaps you're a divine masculine. And when you saw man holding the heart, you're like, yep, that's me. I've got the guarded heart. And then you saw the thinking woman. You thought, okay, well, what about the thinking man? Because I'm just as much mind as I am heart. Spirit wants you to know that they saw that, they heard that, and they are with you, okay? Next we have, oh, that's it. That's the end of the story. <laughs> Thank you, Spirit. Okay, this is a beautiful, beautiful spread. We have got cards here that's talking about a journey. It's talking about not self-sabotaging yourself for the abundance that you know deep down that you truly deserve, okay? Through shadow work, you're going to open a door to value because you're going to be able to find your worth. When you find your worth, worth and value will find you, okay? So I want you guys to just hang on to all of this. Save this video. Refer back to it. Uh, and I am certain that it will help you in times to come. Okay? I love you all so much. And until the next video, peace out, Pisces.